Welcome to Every Way Woman. Here we value home, but some of us weren't afraid to always leave it. You've lived all over the world, mm -hmm. Kristen. Well, I grew up in the mil military lifestyle, so we moved every four years. Um, so moving for me was not, it's not something I fear. Um, I look forward to change sometimes. And sometimes, uh, now that I have children and I can't move because I want them to have the stability I didn't have, um, I get anxious sometimes. I get really anxious to want to pick up and mm -hmm. go. Now for me, a native of California, born, raised all my life, I studied abroad in, abroad in Italy in college, and that's the furthest I went away. But there's, Were you afraid to do that? No, actually I was excited. And now in my mature age, there's, there's a part of me that wants the kids to go away to college and my husband to pick up and get a ranch in Montana <laughs> with a horse and want a big, everybody else to go. Move. Yeah, a dog <laughs> named Mutt on the truck and go. But um, because it's time for a change, right? Mm -hmm. But when you're younger, you, you have the tendency to be fearful because of the unknown. See, for me personally, I embraced the unknown. So I grew up in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Four days after I got my college degree, I packed it up, drove cross country in a hope and a prayer, no job, no apartment. I was fearless. I was so excited for the opportunities. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting because my parents have always just stayed right. put. Mm -hmm. I went to the same high school that my father went to, right down the street from where my mother went to school. And there is kind of this fear. What I've drove that passion that. for you four days after college to move? What 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 drove that passion for you? Sunshine in the dream. I mean, <laughs> come into Los Angeles, for sure. But beyond that, it's because I just wanted opportunity. And I've noticed, though, that in the community I grew up in, they're not searching for those same things. Right. And, and that, most you know, of America is not. After, the, after leaving home, that was what, why I moved. I moved for opportunity reasons, um, not any really any other reasons than that. And I think that's a big motivator for people. They, they're looking for opportunities. But you know what's happening now, and there's a trend of, let's say, young people going away to college and going in other states, their parents are moving with them, which I find to be a very interesting um, twist on this moving for opportunity because that helicopter parent. <laughs> I was going to say, that. I think they have not detached. They have appropriately right. not allowed their child to. No, to I, I, I think that they've almost been inspired by their children in these cases. Exactly. And they said, you know what? If Joe can do it, I can do it too. You and they exactly pack up their right. family and they do that. And I think that is so cool. They're living vicariously really through their children because without their children, I would never move to Mississippi. Mm -hmm. But now since my daughter would go to you know Mississippi State, I'm hiding behind, oh, we're going with my daughter when you know you we know what, there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that I mean good for them my mom would have never been to Europe had I not chose to live in Paris and she up and went and we had a beautiful a beautiful time well, why do you think change causes people paralyzes people what what is it about the unknown you know I, I, I was forced into change as a child and we did have to I started I went to so many different elementary schools I went to three different high schools and um, it was there every time having to it made me fearful of making friends. Oh, okay. okay. I, I because that. I just thought, you know, I'm going to not... The fear of being alone. A few, yeah, a few years from now, they're going to be gone anyway, and I'm going to have to make new friends anyway. And it made me not com non-committal in many ways. Well, but, and I, I do think, though, that there is that kind of fear of being alone if you go somewhere else and not being able to have the friends, and so you become complacent. Or what happens if you do move and you miss out on life opportunities with your friends and family back home. Mm -hmm. and that's a serious risk. But as a parent, how do I, if I'm fearful of moving, I've never moved, how do I broaden the perspective of mm -hmm. my children? What about your children? The world? Are they fearful? Do they express to you that they Girl, have fear? Girl, please. They're like, they, Kennedy's I'm like, I'm going to be 18 <laughs> in January. I'm going to be in I want Ecuador. My passport. <laughs> I want my passport. I'm going to be in Ecuador in June, and I'm going to travel the world, right? My okay. other daughter is like, no, I'm going to stay right here with you, mm -hmm. Mom. So now, it's just all across the board. On the flip side of that, I had my father and my mother split, and my dad lives in Hawaii now, and he is um, in his 60s, and, he, and she's out here, and she's saying, you know what, come out here. If you come out here, let's be together. And he won't move because he's afraid to. Right. He's afraid to do it, and he's a military guy. Because your whole life really? is there. Yeah. Everything that I know is here. Everything he knows is there. So mm -hmm. I, I just don't understand. What's the worst that could happen? You know, for I, I wish I understood it because yeah. then he could have what he says he wants, but yet he won't make well, we're, the move. We're a creature of habit. We're a creature. Every morning I go to the same Starbucks. I go. I mean, so being that creature of habit, it paralyzes us. And do you think that that is something that culturally Americans have experienced? Because when I've traveled, 
other places in the world, particularly Europe, I mean, they get up and go all the time. They're yeah, always moving, shaking, exploring country to country. I mean, it's hard enough for Americans to get from Michigan <laughs> to Florida <laughs> out of the state. I mean, you may take a big risk and you go to Vegas, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Why <laughs> is it? I just think that we like our comfort. We like knowing that there's a Starbucks on every corner. And if I go to Beijing, I'm gonna have to look for a McDonald's. I'm I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, your McDonald's tastes the same as it does in Los Angeles <laughs> as it does in China, which is a little scary. But thanks for the consistency. <laughs> I'm gonna go with crotchety old man syndrome. I think that's it with my dad. He's just crotchety old man. I it's, don't know. it's interesting though, Stacey, and I'm so glad that you're making sure that your girls explore the world. Help Kenny to get that passport. <laughs> I will, I will. Back with more Everyway Woman. She is like, I'm...